Hey, hey, my beautiful bastards. Today I have for you only one simple question. Are you looking for ridiculous solo aka lone wolf setup which can destroy easily PvP and PV and actually PV without shield? If so, you are at the right place. Welcome to Insanity. Hello my beautiful and amazing people, Uncle Butcher in the building, covering Division 2 basically daily and of course other games. Recently I played Battlefield 2042 and Halo Infinite and if I have to be honest, those games didn't impress me, man. On large gen consoles, amount of poppins, frame rate drops is absolutely ridiculous. I thought that I will see something really amazing, but at the end, I think even all the games were much better. That's my simple opinion. I wanted to do some maybe content on those games, but right now, uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's not the topic of today's video. I want to give you my solo AK Lone Wolf build. Maybe you are just like me solo player by nature but let's be uh, honest here i don't have any friends and my clan died a year ago i have only two three active players at best <laughs> so it is what it is so most of the time i'm by myself and this build will do all the work for you if you want to enjoy yourself in dz by clearly clearing landmarks excuse me or destroying PV content and I can tell you even more than that in PV you don't need shield you have ridiculous healing skill damage and your DPS output is outstanding so you're gonna basically wipe PV content but but for PvP you need shield it is what it is it, right now it's like meta skill in the game and with this time to kill don't worry, we have perfect synergy in our build which works with our shield amazingly, amazingly well guys. So please pay attention to every tiny detail, I will explain how to run this setup for PvP and PvE, but before we continue as usual. Today I want to recommend to you my partners, a site for boosting services dwing.net. If you want to get an eagle or any other exotic as well as equip a cool build using items from the dark zone, then these guys will help you to get this and much more in a short time. They have updated prices and deadlines for all services. The boost works with account sharing, so they do everything for you without cheats or bug abuse. I have tested this service myself, so I can recommend you these guys easily. They can be trusted, man. And of course, with my promo code, you will get 15% discount on all services. This site has been working for many years, it has a lot of clients, reviews and payment methods, man. If you didn't get my promo code or you have any questions, feel free to type your message and operator will reply immediately. But now let's get back to my build. And best part about this setup that you don't have to use Lady Dead Exotic SMG and quite frankly it will not work in this setup. If you want to implement Lady Dead Exotic SMG, you should switch your main talent on chess piece for Spark or Obliterate. Lady Dead will not work with Spotter and Technician Specialization because you can't apply a linked laser pointer attachment. So that means that you have to use the one skill slot for Pulse. So in my eyes, that's a bad trade-off. And uh, Pulse has pretty nasty cooldown, even with some skill tiers. So you will not be effective with Spotter Talent and Lady Dead. Maybe in PvP 1v1 fights, I see some potential there but uh, for pv definitely it's a no no and of course obliterate is really nice with any weapon especially with smg class fire rate is really important and crit chance with obliterate talent is must have and smg will give you that crit chance for assault rifle class unfortunately you will be forced to use at least one cheska piece in your setup or two providences Providence 
will give you headshot damage and crit chance as second brand set bonus so keep that in mind but i'm using smg class vector because maybe you didn't know on vector actually you can apply linked laser pointer attachment from technician specialization which will basically immediately activate spotter and as you see you can basically see people through the wall accordingly adjust your game plan and it's really handy in pvp and pv man it's like cheating when you can see people through the walls you have huge huge benefit man i can't stretch this enough how seeing people through the walls are really really important guys and in general if you want to be updated all the best pvp pv builds Hit that like, smash the sub, or leave a hateful comment. I love you anyway. So with that boring intro out of our ways, let's get into it. For specialization, we're gonna use Technician. Technician will provide us with one extra skill tier, which will improve our healing from Hive. Of course, it will make our shield much healthier. And on top of that, extra skill damage for our drone on PV side. And we're gonna use drone for PV because it will proc in sync on our vector. This synergy is amazing and in sync will immediately give them extra damage boost for my drone. And don't forget that spotter will amplify not only your weapon damage but all damage sources. So your skills will deal more damage on basically pulsed enemies really nice synergy guys on top of that guys vector is really really strong smg actually you can apply on that bad boy firewall specialization crit damage attachment one of the best in the game for your weapon anyway but it works really nice with technician specialization and in sync is really really good it will give you immediately 30 percent weapon damage and skill damage boost and that's the reason why we use shield in pvp in pv use hive and drone but in pvp use hive with shield once you will pull that shield up you will immediately activate in sync unfortunately this is top tier synergy in the game for one year or even more than so so unfortunately it is what it is you can't go around this synergy, it's one of the best in the game, especially with Vector which has 1200 RPM and in terms of my numbers I'm sitting over 50% crit chance and 150% crit damage. So really really nice DPS output. For my second weapon I'm using Scorpio Exotic Shotgun, one of the best PV exotic weapons in general man. It's period, period. <laughs> I messed it up a little bit here, but in that period, like, Scorpio is one of the best PV exotics. You can stuff Chungus, you can apply status effects, really, really strong shotgun, and it hits like a truck, and reload basically is non-existent on that bad boy. For my pistol, I'm using name and orbit pistol. Unfortunately, it's DZ exclusive pistol, so you have to farm for this bad boy, and we had it at our DZ vendors, I think last week, so I hope you bought it. But basically, you have to kill somebody with the pistol or finish someone and switch to a main, main weapon and you will receive 40% crit damage boost. For my gear, I'm using Alp Summit Mask with crit chance and crit damage and of course skill tier. If I want, maybe I would roll your armor core attribute, excuse me, but I need that extra healing and skill damage, so it's like hybrid setup. And Alp Summit gear piece by itself will give me repair skill. So really, really nice mask to have. For my chest piece, I'm running Sokolos chest piece with spotter. And like I said, the synergy is amazing. You can apply linked laser pointer attachment on your vector. That will basically allow you to immediately activate spotter. You have to aim on target and he will be pulsed and you now can see him through the wall and that's like cheating in the game you can adjust your playstyle accordingly to your enemy movement man that's a huge huge advantage in the game and this setup will not work with lady dead if you want to use exotic smg lady dead you should use other chess piece talent like obliterate or spark spark will be activated by your drone in pv and 
maybe you could use Seeker Mine or the same drone in PvP or simply use Obliterate since crit chance is not a problem, Obliterate will be really decent. So Obliterate works really nice with SMG class. With Assault Rifle class most likely you need one Cheshka piece for extra crit chance but you got the point. You have options, but spotter, why is it so great? It's amplified weapon damage. It's amplified weapon damage, man. And it will amplify your skill damage as well. So really, really nice synergy for holster. I'm using Richard and Kayser holster with shield health that's named the holster. And of course, I'm rolling weapon damage there. I could roll again armor for attribute or maybe leave it with skill tier but I think weapon damage is must have in PvP and PvP. For backpack I'm using Memento. Memento again is one of the best PvE exotics and PvP in dark zone Memento is amazing especially when you're gonna clear landmarks please don't pick up all the tokens from the ground for your Memento backpack most likely somebody will try to shoot in your ass or I will rephrase it somebody will try to shoot in your bag so please leave Memento tokens on the ground and uh, if somebody will try to do nasty things to you you can pick those tokens you will have immediately that armor armor regen and I will remind you that with full stacks you will have 3% armor regen and I'm using Bella Stone armory knee pads which will provide me with one extra percent of armor regen and for gloves I'm using Sombra for extra crit damage so definitely definitely super dope build and if you need one extra skill tier you could use name it pistol which will give you again more charges for your hive but <clears throat> it depends what you wanna do in this game but for pvp and pv this is amazing solo build guys in dz and in pvp in general you have a huge advantage just play smart with your memento backpack and you will be fine and with full stacks you will increase your skill efficiency and that will increase your healing and skill damage and skill haste so Thank you for watching, Butcher dropping the mic, see you in the next one.